What is up? Your girl is back with another podcast, another message where Ruach Akadash is breathing, living, testifying to Jesus. Hear me now, the oil. Hear me now, a fresh fire. Hear me now. I heard that the very thing that you set down, God was going to pick up and carry that thing over the threshing hold, okay? Carry that thing over to the next realm, to the next possibility, to the next dimension. Hear me now. To the next purpose, hear me now, of chosen, hear me now, remnant, hear me now, to carry out. And as I sat there talking to the Holy Spirit, he reminded me of when David, hear me now, slayed, hear me now, Goliath, hear me now, and put the sword, hear me now, down after he was done, hear me now, they took the sword and stationed it somewhere else, hear me now. And so the sword was stationed somewhere else. But when he went forth into the mission that he didn't understand where he was going or he didn't have the my God, it wasn't revealed to him yet. When he arrived there, it was already waiting for him there. The very thing that he might God slayed on the mission or assignment that God had told him or sent them out to do. And when he did it and he completed that thing, he didn't think he needed that weapon no more. Hear me now. But somebody grabbed the weaponry. Hear me now. And stationed it at a time frame in his life of where he was going to need it. Hear me now. Although they thought they was just grabbing that thing. Hear me now. By standard. Hear me now. But they didn't realize. Hear me now that the king's presence was rejuvenated the focus hear me now for a predestined moment hear me now that was set apart hear me now to where he was going to need that thing hear me now to get him to his next destination hear me now and so he didn't realize hear me now when he left from fear hear me now and he arrived towards the mission to go forth my God on purpose hear me now he arrived at the very thing that need that he needed to take him hear me now to a certain place hear me now to destroy hear me now what was up ahead hear me now and i said lord that's the same thing where saul the the the, the enemy that was chasing him didn't do when you told him to do it so you telling me david was sent out to destroy the Amalekites before he knew he was going to destroy them. Hear me now, with the same weaponry, hear me now, that he slayed in the same territory, hear me now, when Saul, hear me now, what's his homeboy? Let's bring it to the modern day. Hear me now, when Saul was cool with him, hear me now, when Saul needed him, hear me now, that very thing that David was chosen To slay the giant Goliath in Saul's territory was the very weapon that was going to be chosen to be used by a chosen one in the next field of David's life. And it sound like if you want to hear me now, God was making it be known who was really on the field. God was letting it be known who really was in the atmosphere. God was letting himself be revealed. Hear me now to the one who traded. Hear me now and went against God. Hear me now. And so they had to look at themselves. Hear me now in the mirror. Hear me now from another standpoint. Hear me now. And so it made jealousy happen. Hear me now. And so when that person became jealous, hear Hear me now. They was partnering with the stupor. But as the stupor was my God. Revealing their fruits. It was also revealing David's promise as chosen. It was also revealing God's. God's entirety of how he planned and pre-orchestrated and predestined. Hear me now for the chosen one. Hear me now to arrive. Hear me now to the destination. Hear me now that he says his word could never come back void. Hear me now. And so though although David was left out of the middle, the middle section of what his life looked at like when fear came amongst him. And so when he got that win. And he moved forward.
God is saying, then David said to Abathar, the priest, the son of Ahimelech, bring me the ephod of Abathar, brought it to him. And David inquired of the Lord, shall I pursue this raiding party? Will I overtake them? Pursue them, he answered. You will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue. David and 600 men with him came to Bizar Valley, where some stayed behind. 200 of them were too exhausted to cross the valley. But David and the other 400 continued the pursuit. They found an Egyptian in a field and brought him to David. They gave him water to drink and food to eat. Part, a, part of a cake of pressed figs and two cakes of raisins. He ate and was revived for he had not eaten any food or drunk any water for three days and three nights. David asked him, who do you belong to? Where do you come from? He said, I am an Egyptian, the slave of an Amalekite. My master abandoned me when I came, became ill three days ago. We raided the Najib of the Karath the Karathites, some territory belonging to Judah and the Najib of Caleb. And we burnt Ziklag. Hear me now. David asked him, can you lead me down to this raiding party? Hear me now. Out of the eater comes something to eat. Hear me now. Hear me now. Hear me now. Somebody's territory. Hear me now. That's supposed to hear me now. Became their new territory. Hear me now. Although, hear me now, somebody escaped in David's situation. Hear me now, it was a plot twist to work for the good of those who love the Lord, called according to his purpose. Hear me now, it was the very thing he needed to take him, my God, to take him to the next of his situation, of his circumstance. And hear me now, this is the very big catches that it came from they feel. Mm. Can't nobody tell me what God won't do. Can't nobody tell me what Jesus is not capable of doing because nothing is impossible with him. What's impossible to man is very much so possible with Jesus, very much so past possible with God. Hear me now. He led David down and they were scattered over the countryside eating, drinking and revealing because of the great amount of plunder they had taken from the land of the Philistines and from Judah. David fought them from dusk until the evening of the next day and none of them got away except 400 young men who rode off on camels and fled. David recovered everything the Amalekites had taken including his two wives. Nothing was missing. Young or old boy or girl plunder or anything else they had taken David brought everything back hear me now he took all the flocks and herds and his men drove them ahead of the other livestock hear me now saying this is David's plunder hear me now hear me now God is saying plot twist God is saying plot to us, although they was trying to rise on your downfall, although they came to make my God, whatever your win was, seem less of what it was. Hear me now. Somebody is saying, ah, the virtue. Hear me now. Somebody is saying, ah, the virtue has left me. Hear me now. But God saying plot twist. It was a lie. Hear me now. All those who came to my God come to your turf and dance on your, hear me now. Hear me now. Dance on your downfall. Hear me now. He says plot twist. The very thing that they was looking down on. Hear me now. I'm going to take, hear me now. And I've already took it. Hear me now. And I've already pre-planned and predestined it for your good to work out for the next. Hear me now. Win in your life. Hear me now. So when you take the lesson of this circumstance and you really see the fruit that was revealing on that circumstance hear him now you don't take the loss of a situation hear me now and as you don't take the loss of a situation you arrive to the destination before you even got there physically hear me now your your, your purpose has arrived hear me now and so as your purpose arrived hear me now that thing my god that looked like it was impossible has now became possible hear me now for the next dimension hear me now and so as you really did that thing by faith hear me now you put yourself in 
the alignment of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hear me now. And as you did, it no longer was a human standpoint. Hear me now. And so the standpoint became my God. The same situation when, when, when the enemy lost. Hear me now to Jesus. Hear me now. So who's going to rise up against the only begotten son? Hear me now when, G, when God has already placed the word over him. Hear me now to live out the sequence of how he established it here on earth today. Hear me now. And so when Jesus got the authority and domain to say, I have done a new thing. Hear me now. Who's to tell him that he didn't? Hear me now. Who's to tell him that he can't? Hear me now. Who's to tell him that he won't? Hear me now. Who's to tell him that it ain't? Hear me now. So when he's dwelling on the inside of you, hear me now. Although they came to stuff on you, hear me now. Although they came to tell you that you won't make it to the next circumstance, hear me now. Although they came to laugh at you when you was down, hear me now. Although they thought that situation was going to cause you to die out, hear me now. Although. God is saying, I placed the blessing on the inside of you. Hear me now, that was everlasting. Hear me now, that represented me. Hear me now, that was representing the word that I gave it to live. Hear me now, it was representing the purpose that I gave it to live. Hear me now, so when you left your family. Hear me now, when you left your personal relationships. Hear me now, when you left all of the situation that looked like a human mankind standpoint. Hear me now, and you joined Noah's Ark. Hear me now, and by faith. Hear me now, and you wasn't walking by the sight. Hear me now, you left that normal standpoint alone. Hear me now, and so now. The enemy got to answer to me. Hear me though. I see Job. Hear me though. There's a hedge of protection over the circle of your life. Hear me though. And how you live. Hear me though. And where you're going. Hear me though. And what's up ahead. Hear me though. And so when the enemy try to come after your family. Hear me though. They talking to me. Don't you see me child of God. Hear me though. And so I'm the one who told you that, 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 that Jesus is the fulfillment. Hear me now. Of the law. Hear me now. So when you put that thing in my, in my, hear me now. My pocket of faith. Hear me now. You're now let on to purpose. Hear me now. When you're last on to purpose, hear me now.